take it a step further. We still have a 10 kilogram object attached via pulley to a 5 kilogram object, but now the 5 kilogram object is, in it, is on an inclined ramp. And the ramp makes an angle of 30 degrees with the horizontal. The coefficient of friction is still going to be 0.2, and the question hasn't changed. What's the acceleration of the system, and what is the tension in the rope? Connecting the two masses. So, we're going to draw a free body diagram for the 5 kilogram object which is quite involved, but we did a whole video on that already, so if you don't follow, if you can't follow me here, you might want to take back, take a look back at the video on ramps. So, the five kilogram object is on a surface. There is gravity, of course, pulling it straight down. Is there a normal force? Yes, in this direction. <clears throat> There's a tension pulling up and there is a force of friction which will be down the ramp. Again, I'm going to assume it's down the ramp because pretty clearly the 5 kilogram object is not going to be able to pull out the 10 kilogram object. But sometimes it's not so obvious. But in this case it certainly is. So I'll call that positive. FF will be down the ramp. <coughs> and thing is going to accelerate up the ramp. I'll call that the x direction so that I can break gravity into its components. I like to call those components F parallel and F perpendicular. Go to places. This angle will also be 30 degrees. And this object is going to accelerate in this direction. The X direction. I like to put the X direction the same as acceleration. The x direction, Newton's second law, tells us that all these forces will add up to ma, so that is going to be tension minus ff minus f parallel equals ma. And the y direction, we have fn minus f, per f perpendicular equals zero. Now the five, uh, the ten kilogram object not changed, there is FG, and there is T, acceleration is still going to be down as positive for this guy, and Newton's second law will tell us that FG is 10G minus T equals 10A. Again, I'll call that equation number two. I'll call this equation number one. And I'll add equation number one and equation number two. One plus two, just like before, gives us T minus FF minus F parallel equals 5A plus 10G minus T equals 10A. Tensions are gone, as I promised they always would be, and we get 10G minus FF minus F perpendicular equals 15A. Now, to finish this equation, we obviously need to know f parallel, and we're going to need to know f perpendicular, so I can do that at any point. I'll do it over here. f parallel is the sine of 30 times fg, so it's going to be 5g times the sine of 30. f perpendicular is the component of gravity perpendicular to the ramp, and it's going to be equal to 5g cos 30. So now I know f parallel, but what's ff? Again, FF equals mu FN. There's a reason we gave you mu. FN, from over here, the y direction of our first free body diagram, FN is equal to F perpendicular, which is 5G cos 30, so FF is mu 5G cos 30. Dumping all these things into equation into this equation here for a, I get a equals 10g minus mu 5g cos 30 minus 5g sine 30, all divided by 15, which gives me an answer of a 8.1. calculations. <clears throat> it's kind of interesting, I think, that the acceleration is greater than it was when the 5 kilogram object was on a horizontal surface. I would think, since there's this extra force slowing the whole system down, that the acceleration should be less. 
But of course, the normal force has also decreased, which means the friction has decreased. And ultimately, putting it at an angle of 30 degrees decreases the friction more than it increases the gravity. So I think this acceleration is much higher than it was in, a, in the situation we just did with a horizontal, uh, horizontal surface on which the 5 kilogram mass is resting. So the acceleration is done. We go back, I, but again, we'll go back to equation 2 to find t. t equals 10g minus 10a. And if we dump our numbers in, we get 16.9 newtons. Again, there is a shortcut, the same shortcut, but it's getting less and less effective as the question gets more and more complicated. You could, again, skip right to this equation by simply saying, what's driving the system? Well, it's just the force of gravity and it's going to be opposed by the force of friction, and it's going to be opposed by the parallel force of gravity, the full component of gravity on the five kilogram object, which is down the ramp. And all that equals 15A. Again, the tensions are internal, so they've got to cancel out according to Newton's third law, and that's why they always do. And you can skip to this equation, but even if you do skip to immediately to this equation, you still need a free body diagram, because you still need to figure out what Fn is, you still need to figure out what FF is and dump everything in. 